Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three different Think Kids protein bars. These are all new. They were $5.99 a box at Meyer, and you get five bars in the box. So these are the cookies and cream, like chocolate chip, and uh, peanut butter cup. I was seeing if they were all the same uh, protein. So stuff. even though they're called peanut butter cup, and there's a picture of cups, it's still a bar. Yeah, it's a bar. Okay. It's a bar with a peanut butter cup. Okay. He says they're all new too. Yeah. Seven grams of protein, three grams of fiber, four grams of sugar. That's what it's in all these. Um, we've actually tried Fair one of these uh, Think Kids protein bars. Uh, we tried one. It was it was like it was something with cinnamon. It was like cinnamon churro or something like that. And that was the only one that we tried. And it was it was sent to us. So uh, these are just ones that that have been out and we haven't tried. So how yet. much do these cost? Do you know? Yeah, they were five ninety nine at Meyer. Six dollars. Six dollars. For five bars. Yeah. They have no artificial flavors or colors. They're GMO free. They're gluten free. That's an awfully tiny bar for six dollars. Uh, thinkkidsproducts.com. Look how small it is. I mean, it's thin. Yeah. I like the flavor. I don't mind the flavor. The texture's a little weird. Oh, wait. It reminds me of one um, that I really like from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has uh, some bars that are excellent bars. And, and I, I don't get them very often because we don't go there very often. But uh, they're delicious. That reminds me of that. It has a rich... Um, chocolate flavor. You get a cookie flavor, which is exactly what that yes. is. Yes, it does remind me of. It reminds me of a um, like a ground up Oreo cookie. Yeah, the best part of that is the white coating in bar form. I think those are nice. I think they're nice. I like the flavor of them until after I've eaten it, I got a really bad aftertaste. Oh, I didn't get that at all. A bitter is a bitter aftertaste. I got no bitter aftertaste. Yeah, so you it's just, still there. So not everybody's gonna get that. So just know that I, I get. I still have the flavor of that Oreo cookie in my mouth. I wish I did. I thought it was good. Okay, so this <laughs> is the um, still a very small bar. Chocolate chip, and are they all a hundred calories? Yeah, hundred calories. That's not bad at all. 100 cal no wonder they're smaller because it's a 100 calorie snack. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, but they're costing as much as a full size bar. I don't think the price is, is good. What is this one? Sour chip? That one had a little more chew to it, like a, mm -hmm. like a piece of caramel or something. Mm. I like that one too. I still get that after days. And it does remind me of uh, when you buy the roll of chocolate chip cookies uh, before you bake them. That's what that reminds me of. The chi the texture and everything reminds me of that. I can't help it if you don't like it. She's I like it. Salting rolls of chocolate chip. Oh cookies. no, I like that. I think I like it. Good. I like it, but it's not. It's not that good. Um, I think it's very good. It, I like it's it. good, but uh, I'm still getting that aftertaste. There's something in these bars that has a. Uh, there's some ingredient they're adding, probably for the protein. Don't know that, but I'm guessing um, that has a bitter aftertaste to me. Kevin has been called more than once in the comments a super taster. Super taster. Super My only superpower. Thank God I got one. <laughs> the peanut butter cup. It's gonna come crunchy in. Do you have a crunchy bit? Mm-hmm. Like a Rice Krispie treat or something. I like that. It's it's okay. The peanut butter is okay in it, but unfortunately, I still get that aftertaste, that bitter aftertaste. So we tried. They've changed. They um, think kids and think thin is the same company, and we tried a think uh, creamy peanut butter bar, and. It was just okay. I think the, the reason that we like, um, or that I like this more than that, 
is because it's so much smaller it's thinner so you're not getting an overload of that center now if it was a Reese's cup it would be completely different you want an overload of that center but with this because it's a protein bar it, it's different and you don't want an overload of that and so this is just enough to give you that peanut flavor without being too much so Whereas I wouldn't buy the adult bars, the thin creamy peanut butter uh, adult bars, I would get these. Hmm. But out of the three, if I only had $6 to spend, because that's how much they are, if I only had $6 to spend and I was, and somebody said, which one would you buy, I would buy the cookies and cream. I would too. That one has the best flavor. Although they all, to me, have a really bad aftertaste. So I personally would buy any of them, but... Um, if that doesn't bother you, then or if you don't, if that doesn't affect your taste buds, then the cookies and cream is definitely the best one. And I know these are these are marketed towards kids, but I know as a kid, I never ate protein bars, and I'm fine. I would have never eaten one of these as a kid. Um, <laughs> well, I'm just thinking most uh, most of the time, kids I think get plenty of protein. Most most kids do. Um, but I think these are good for if you're looking for a low calorie snack, 100 calories. I just think that for for me, my way of looking at things is probably different than yours. So for me, I look at these as just a low calorie snack. But, uh, so cookies and cream is my winner. Um, I will have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.